let's move now into your decision to do a, a doctorate and how um, what other how did you come about taking that decision? What other decisions were available to you that you didn't take, and why did you decide to go for your PhD? Yeah, I at that time I was married already. I had my son. Of course, I was concerned about my my own uh, uh, how to say. Uh, job and opportunities to support my family, of course. So I was concerned that I had to be careful in what I was doing. So that time I could, for example, go and try to find a job in a company. But I was excited with this research. I was excited in learning more and going deeper into what I was doing. So I was a lecturer and then because, as I said, there are so many opportunities to, to invest in educational projects and to conduct research. I remember that time I wrote uh, a small proposal to bring a professor from the United States to teach a course for three days. So it was a kind of training, a workshop, and that workshop was uh, support by that foundation, the same foundation that I was an employee before. That foundation had courses for industries. So I wrote a proposal to bring this professor from the United States to teach a class for three days and then we could maybe bring some engineers to attend that workshop. So I brought Professor B.K. Bulls, Bimal Bulls, who became my advisor. I brought him for three days. He was a very famous person already at that time. And he came and he taught a very nice uh, course, three-day workshop. And we had maybe 25 participants from industries and several places. I learned a lot with that guy. And I was so excited with him, you know. And I, I remember I, I was planning to do my PhD. So I had a few opportunities for my PhD. I could do my, my PhD in the University of Sao Paulo, the same place that I was working. I could do my PhD in another school in Brazil, but I was thinking to go outside Brazil, I was think, thinking to go abroad. So I was thinking to maybe apply to either United States, because I could have a very good education in a university here, in a research. Or at that time, a lot of my friends went to Japan. A lot of my friends and I almost applied. I actually applied to go to Japan and then I, I gave up in the middle of the process because Japan had a lot of uh, scholarships for foreigners and several of my friends went to Japan, University of Tokyo, Tokodai or several other universities, Nagoya University, several universities in Japan. And I had a decision, well, I, I will stay in Brazil, I will go to United States, or I will go to Japan. Of course, going to Japan is a different language. It's Japanese, it's a different culture. Even though my wife is descendant of Japanese and Portuguese, we had some motivation to go to Japan. But we knew that would be really more useful to come to United States, because, of course, I could improve my English, I could learn English better, I could and the United States has so many opportunities and so in the middle of that process I decided to apply for this uh, uh, graduate program at the University of Tennessee and to work with Professor Bose who was the person that I brought to Brazil. So for me it was very fortunate because I knew my advisor before I came to the United States when I applied to that program. And when I applied to the University of Tennessee as a graduate student I also applied for a scholarship from the Brazilian government. So I was accepted in the graduate program and I was granted a scholarship from the Brazilian government to pursue my PhD program at the University of Tennessee for four years. So that was what made me come here. Why, why was the Brazilian government giving scholarships at the time? What was the, what was the policy? What was the rationale behind? It's the same spirit that we are talking. You know, the idea was to invest in the, in the development of the Brazilian technology. So the idea at that time was that by giving scholarships to support PhD students 
outside, and I, it was not only United States, it was everywhere, France, United States, Germany, Japan. Well, Japan we didn't need that because we had the really Japanese support, but the idea was to send these people to first class research institutions in the world. And then after the PG, they would come back to Brazil and work there and develop technology in Brazil. Actually, I came back. We are required to come back. I worked mm -hmm. four years with this scholarship and then I came back to Brazil and I worked in the University of Sao Paulo for five more years. So we are supposed to come back and help the Brazilian uh, development with that investment. So that was a rationale to bring people with experience from research institutions around the world.